so good. Oh my God, so do you. <laughs> Where's your uh, new boyfriend? Oh, 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 he's outside. <laughs> Come on in. Come on. Yay. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> your restroom yeah it's just that door over there what we know you well enough to know if you're dating a guy that weird he's either super talented or filthy rich <sighs> now spill the beans well if you must know, <laughs> he's a hacker. What do you mean, hacker? Oh, okay. ow, Danielle. <laughs> like with computers, he can pretty much do whatever he wants. You've been dating a super hacker for three months. You stupid. Bitch. What? Taylor! Uh. That guy already knows every intimate detail about all of our lives! Oh my god, no he doesn't. Of course he does! It's all out there! He sees them posts, them pics, he in my Facebook, my email, he in my cloud! He's in the fucking cloud. He does not care about that stuff. He just likes rebelling against society. Hey! Look at his pasty cave dwelling ass. Guaranteed when he's not with you, he's somewhere hacking. Late at night, he's somewhere hacking. With his grandma, hacking. Right now in the bathroom, hacking off. Oh my God, you are being paranoid. <laughs> what is the big deal anyway? Bitch, I got skeletons, okay? Class are open up, bones fall out. Bones, bones, bitch. Are we still having dinner? Hey. Maybe uh, I should go. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah, we were just getting to know so much about you. Did you tell them I was a hacker? She did. Looks like that pussy got you fucking up. I swear, okay, I, I, I didn't hack any of you guys. <laughs> of course you didn't. But I think it's time we did a bit of hacking. Guys, stop. Maybe this is good. I mean, we're all best friends, and if we have stuff buried deep down inside of us, maybe the healthiest thing to do is to let it out with the people we dread most. <laughs> She's right. Maybe the only thing that can heal our deepest wounds is is the love we have for each other. Guys, you have to believe me. None of you were hacked. Okay. Oh, cut the shit. If you tell us the truth, then maybe we can accept it. Start to trust you as a real friend. I used a reverse shell two stage exploit package to control Taylor's ISP address, then applied a phishing algorithm to access all of your accounts. Chase is the first one I hacked since I saw he used to be in a relationship with Taylor. All in all, he's a good guy, but what stood out were his medical records. It is a rare form of severe genital eczema that he refers to as ashy scrotal syndrome. When dipping his sack in a tray of gold bond like a chicken cutlet wasn't enough, he had the doctors make him a custom velvet pouch for his balls to avoid irritation.
Danielle was a different story. She's been seeing a therapist twice a month since she was 10. Except, she was too afraid to talk to a stranger at such a young age, so she's been confronting her issues with a sock puppet named Mr. Socko for the last 18 years. <laughs> She treats the sock in her therapist's hands so much like a real person that when she makes the appointment, she asks for Mr. S. She even has her therapist put Mr. S on the phone when he picks up a call in his normal voice. But one thing her shrink hasn't mentioned is when he becomes frustrated with Danielle's neediness, he lets it out by jerking off into Mr. Socko. for the saddest story of all. Donald was raised by monkeys after he got lost on a safari as a toddler. He was found a year later, unharmed, but has never been able to shake the emotional connections he made. In college, he began gratifying himself to documentary footage of apes having sex. To this day, he's tried everything he can to quit, but eventually, no matter what, he always returns to the monkey porn. So, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Thanks. No, thank you. Hey, do you want to see pics of Taylor before her nose job? Damn.